Elsie McMillan remembers waiting up all night to see a glimpse of the test with her neighbor, Lois Bradbury. Lois's husband, Norris Bradbury, was in charge of the final assembly of the gadget, or plutonium test bomb. There was a light tap on my door. There stood Lois Bradbury, my friend and neighbor. She knew. Her husband was out there, too. She said her children were asleep and would be all right since she was so close and could check on them every so often. Please, can't we stay together this long night, she said. We talked of many things, of our men, whom we loved so much, of the children, their futures, of the war with all its horrors. We kept the radio going softly, despite the fact our last word had been that the test would probably be at 5 a.m. We dared not turn it off. Suddenly, there was a flash, and the whole sky lighted up. The time was 5.32 a.m. The baby didn't notice. We were too fearful and awed to speak. The news came. Flash! The explosive dump at the Alamogordo airfield has exploded. No lives are lost. This explosion is what caused the tremendous sound and the light in the sky. We looked at each other. It was a success. Could we believe the announcement? No lives are lost. They had not said no injuries. We had hours to wait to be absolutely sure. At least it was over with. Lois went home to grab a few hours of rest before her family might awaken. I, too, crawled into bed, but found I could not sleep. The day dragged on. I tried walking the mesa with the children, but by lunchtime, home was where I wanted to be. The door opened about 6 o'clock in the evening. We were in each other's arms. Then, and only then, did the tears come streaming down my face. 